Hi guys, well, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys like what you're seeing. So today we're going to be talking about a new HDMI recorder that I bought for my camera. This is kind of a replacement if you were looking at like the Ninja 5. Um, it does the same thing, it just might not be the same quality. For what I need it for, it's good enough quality. It's 1080p, 30 frames a second. And it's a great price point at $170 on Amazon. Uh, the company name, I'm probably going to say this wrong, but Suku. And so it comes with this nice carrying case. It's got, it's padded on the inside. It comes with accessories, so it comes with a HDMI cord, a cleaning cloth, your instructions. And it fits really nicely in this case. If you have a camera case that you can slide uh, stuff into if it's got dividers and stuff this fits really well in there um, I've left it on my camera at this point uh, the times that I've used it I haven't needed to separate it I can fold the screen down and then it fits in my SKB case pretty easily so I'll show you guys the recorder itself so it takes a Sony NPF 550 uh, battery so if you're looking for it's a Sony 55 zero uh, the screen comes on like this so it's going to be starting in 1080p 30 frames uh, 60 hertz and you can't make m many adjustments to it but it's a really nice case, really nice recorder it shows you that you're in 1080p um, so it shows your screen and what's really nice about this you know, it oscillates pretty nicely up and down to get it out of your way if you are shooting or if you want to see something really low to the ground, you can move it down or you can have it up and it just kind of emulates the screen that you've got on the back here. If yours doesn't turn around, you can, you know, swivel it however you need to. Um, what's nice about this recorder is if you're in video mode, it will record for as much storage as you have on the card. So it takes a micro SD, it'll record as much time as you have. So this Nikon Z6 II records for 30 minutes. I can record longer with this screen and or the, the recorder. Um, the plastic buttons on top kind of feel cheap. Uh, they, they work, obviously, but they're not gonna be the same quality that you would find in like the Ninja 5. Um, when you want to start recording in photo mode, you record the same way as you do in video. So there is a button on top here, and you just click this, it starts recording in the camera, and it'll record what you're seeing. So if you're shooting birds flying, as you can see in the clips, uh, it, it'll show exactly what you're seeing. So it'll show all of your settings that are surrounded, that are shown on the screen itself. So uh, your aperture, your ISO, any of your exposure, you know, any anything that you see on the screen is what you're recording. When you put it in the video mode, it's only showing the video. So it's not showing your settings. Uh, it's not recording what you're seeing in the camera. It's actually recording as your camera would record on its own. So I think this is a great tool. I've used it a few times now for the price point. It's really nice. The one thing that you are going to have to buy is this cord. So this is a HDMI to micro HDMI. And so I had to buy it on Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. Um, it's, it's the only way that you're going to get the HDMI out of your camera. Uh, if you don't have full HDMI, a lot of the new cameras don't have full HDMI. They have the, the micro HDMI. So you will have to get that, that cord for it to work, and you'll have to get the battery. The battery is not sold with it. So if you want to use this, you're going to have to get the extra battery, the extra cord, and then you're set. So under $200, and you've got yourself an in-camera recorder, HDMI, and I think it's a great tool. I'm going to show you guys I went out to the Ottawa Wildlife Refuge and shot some pintails, swans, there's some geese. And I'll show you guys those clips after this. And uh, you can see how the camera recorder works. Um, it's, it's lightweight, so it's not in your way when you're shooting. It's cheap or cheaper. It's really the only other alternative that I could find to the 
the Ninja 5. And it just, it does what you need it to. The only issue that I've run into is in uh, DaVinci Resolve. When I import the footage, it's actually being imported in 15 frames a second. So I'm trying to work around that. I've found a few tricks to get it back up where I need it to be. But if you download it to your phone or you download it like to the computer, you can still view it in 30 frames a second. It's just putting it into editing software that there's some sort of glitch. And uh, if, that's a if that's a deal breaker for you, this is your warning. But it's worked out really nicely for me so far. So let's get into the clips from the Ottawa Wildlife Refuge. So we're out here at the wildlife refuge. We're gonna start with these swans. There's a bunch of ducks and stuff flying around, but uh, we got this monitor and uh, I'm gonna show you guys in camera what this stuff looks like, but should get some good stuff. some geese laying down there. Right on the dike wall. Just hanging out. A couple more. This place is just loaded with birds. Real high wind. 